This week in the Imperial Valley, the new river improvement project faces a hurdle, Jason Jackson pleads guilty to animal abuse, and a celebrity helps out with a local nonprofit. I'm Kayla Kirby, and this is your Desert Review Weekly Webcast. The new river improvement project could potentially see funding for its next phase in jeopardy, unless the county, IID, and the city of Calexico can agree on how each will contribute to its ownership and maintenance. The current phase of the project includes the construction of a Calexico park and trail along the new river, as well as the construction of an underground diversion of the new river, designed to reduce exposure to Calexico residents. A water treatment plan will sanitize part of that water and pump it back to the border where it will flow through the proposed park grounds and merge again with the new river. However, the California Environmental Protection Agency is offering the $1.4 million on the condition that the three entities contribute a total of $150,000 a year to the maintenance of the project and with one taking full ownership of the facilities. The county, however, was hesitant to commit to pay for maintenance when final estimates were still forthcoming and has indicated it might only commit to one year before reevaluating the costs. Jason Jackson, El Centro Councilman and former mayor, pled guilty to one felony charge of cruelty to an animal Thursday, July 13th at the Imperial County Superior Courthouse. Jackson pled guilty to the felony charge and will be sentenced August 17th. The judge indicated he would likely reduce the felony charge to a misdemeanor at sentencing, depending on what the sentencing report says. A horse was found with no food or water on February 28, 2016. The animal was eating the fence, a palm tree, and its own feces to survive, according to witnesses. Jackson was identified as the owner. He posted on Facebook his reasons for pleading guilty. So today I made one of the most difficult decisions of my life. I pled guilty to something that I did not do. Now some will say that no one ever pleads guilty if you're innocent, and honestly, I believed that too. You have to step back, push aside your principles, and do what's best for all involved. Today, I did that. To change the public's sometimes negative opinion on law enforcement, the Border Patrol has designed an educational program on the safe and lawful protection they provide. Called Operation Invisible Shield, it is meant to build trust and understanding between the local community and law enforcement, according to officials. The program is three years old and puts the citizen through a day of lecture, simulations, and training as performed by Border Patrol agents on a regular basis. Agent Alessio Fushin, one of the defensive techniques trainers, said the Border Patrol hopes to expand this program to bring awareness to the Valley with a focus on those with negative views of law enforcement. The Imperial Valley Humane Society teamed up with Pittsburgh Steeler L.T. Walton to help an animal adoption last Saturday co-sponsored by the local PetSmart. Entering PetSmart entitled one to an autograph and picture with Walton for a $10 donation. All the proceeds benefited the Humane Society. Currently, the Humane Society is at a maximum capacity with close to 400 animals. There has been an influx of animals this month due to the 4th of July fireworks. For additional information on these stories and more, check out our free website at thedesertreview.com. Remember to like us on Facebook and pick up our weekly paper at a location near you. I'm Kayla Kirby, and this is your Desert Review Weekly Webcast.